the embattled chairwoman of the New York City Housing Authority, faced withering questioning at the City Council on Tuesday about lapses in lead paint inspections, and she struggled to explain communication failures that left the public uninformed about the risks they posed. Even as she defended the city's response, the chairwoman, Shola Alatoy, conceded that more could have been done over the past year to tell residents what top officials learned in mid-2016, lead paint inspections ceased in 2012 and were not restarted for nearly four years. Her responses prompted exclamations of disbelief from a large audience and expressions of frustration from some council members. Many of the questions focused on the long delay between when officials learned of the problems with inspections between April 2016 and June 2016, according to MS. Alatoy and when City Hall and the agency acknowledged the lapses publicly for the first time, in July 2017. At one point, a man in the audience chanted, Lock her up, referring to MS. Alatoy another interrupted to attack the panel for covering for the mayor. Councilman Rafael Salamanca Jr., who represents the South Bronx, asked MS. Alatoy, why did you wait more than a year before telling the families? MS Alatoy replied, we could have communicated in a more precise way. She noted that families in 4,200 untested apartments that housed children under 6 received a notice in May 2016 saying that the authority needed to check for lead. But that notice did not mention the prior inspection lapses. I, too, have lost trust in NICA and in this administration, Councilman Salamanca said. The hearing was perhaps the most contentious between the City Council and members of Mayor Bill de Blasio's administration since City Hall faced an outcry over communication failures that allowed a former nursing home in Lower Manhattan, known as Rivington House, to be sold to condominium developers. The hearing was called in response to a report on the lead paint inspections issued last month by the City's Investigation Department. It found that over four years, the Housing Authority had filed false certifications with the federal government for the inspections, which are required annually. The inspection failures are part of a federal inquiry into the agency that dates to 2015 and that Mr. de Blasio, a Democrat, has suggested could end with the appointment of a federal monitor. Ms. Alatoy insisted that even though she certified inspections with the federal government in 2016 despite knowing that they had not been completed she had no intention of making a false certification. She said she had raised the issue with the Federal Housing Department earlier that year, before signing the certification. My regret is that we didn't tell people more, sooner, she said. There was no intent to mislead or deceive our regulators. Councilman Richie Torres who presided over the hearing, said, I'm asking about the general public. Ms. Alatoy testified in March 2016 that the agency was in compliance with regulations on lead inspections. After she found out days later that her testimony had been false, she did not tell anyone at the city council a point hammered on by Mr.